unless you're living under a rock. Even if you don't have a TikTok account, you more than likely have seen the makeup videos using the microwave poodle video. The origin of the soundtrack that TikTok users are using is quite interesting and disturbing at the same time. Now, I mentioned there was a soundtrack from the movie that um, people are using to make these videos. And I'm going to play that for you now. Um, it's weird, but you've probably heard it. And honestly, it's kind of catchy and it'll get stuck in your head. But give it a listen. This one here smells great. Which one? Mmm. Smells like mother's crazy sister Kate. Oh, you think so? Yeah, I do. It smells so good. She couldn't have been that crazy. I don't think so. Oh, you don't think so, huh? No. Well, she put her poodle one time in a microwave oven to eat it. Yeah. To eat it? Oh, no. No, 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 silly, to dry it. No, no, no. But it exploded, and they were both found dead. She must have been out of her head. Is like lip syncing along with it but anyway yeah like i said it's pretty weird but i have to admit that the craziness of it and probably like the makeup that they did too it sucked me in and i've been fascinated with like i said the cool looks that they're coming up with um while they lip sync to that soundtrack well you know i have a curious mind so i had to know where the heck that came from and i found that it was from a 12 minute movie called possibly in michigan and it's available on youtube by the way i turned the movie on and after about eight minutes i was kind of creeped out and it really wasn't graphic or anything but it was a weird vibe i was getting from it and you know how i love that but you know i just can't let it be so i started looking more into that and what i found about the movie is something that i want to share with you today now, Possibly in Michigan is pretty much an opera about cannibalism. Yep, cannibalism. The There's this masked butler looking dude that's stalking a young woman through a mall. And then the motherfucker, uh, sorry, um, if you have kids, but he follows her home. You can see him outside her house wearing different masks. But she kind of turns the tables a little bit on him, reverses the roles. And you see her uh, placing this mysterious big trash bag out on the curb. The movie itself was written by Cecilia Condit and it was released in 1985. Now, she has a way of portraying women's violent and dehumanizing realities through dark humor. The uh, videos often mimic distorted fairy tales completely with these girly sing-song parts like the one that I just played. But in her fairy tales, the females aren't waiting for their prince or their knight in shining armor to come rescue them. These ladies, they rise up and save themselves. And by the end, Sharon and Janice consume, yes, consume the air quotes, prince and possibly in Michigan. Now, I'm sure you're familiar with the name Pat Robertson. Um, he's the overrated, outspoken Christian advocate. And he's also... Um, a host on the 700 club well he wasn't happy with this film and he called it very lesbian and anti-male now who asked you pat i mean really but apparently he had some concerns over the film's funding from the national endowment for the arts but honestly knowing how he feels about anything different or where roles are reversed i'm sure he was just mad because it went against his outstanding morals and if you can't tell I'm being sarcastic. Now, earlier when I said that the origins were disturbing, I totally didn't mean that in a bad way. So, I'm sorry if it did come across that way. But you know how I'm into the the dark and the weird and the strange. Um, it, it's very creative and it's very different. 
But I think I'll try to, you know, watch it again in its entirety because now that I've read more about it, it's got me wanting to be strong and finish it. Now, I mentioned that that movie was released in 1985, but so why is it so popular now after all this time? I mean, that's been like 36 years, I believe, if my math in my head is correct. Well, apparently it started out as a meme on Reddit in 2015. That brought about the revival of possibly in Michigan. But so far, that meme, um, I haven't been able to locate it. If you can get your hands on it, send me an email with it um, at 3mpodcast3 at gmail.com. But from there, that one scene with the perfume and the poodle and the microwave, it took the internet by storm. And over those six years since that meme, it's became very popular and viral really don't even describe it. If you haven't seen Possibly in Michigan, I say give it a shot because, I mean, it's only 12 minutes. You know, it's not like I'm asking you to watch a two or long, two hour or longer movie. Like, you know, uh, I mean, there's honestly been some big name movies that I have watched and I felt like, well, I'll never get those two hours of my life back again. Now, before I end things for this episode today, I just want to talk about a couple of unrelated things. First is, um, some earlier episodes I mentioned, um, the case of the missing women in Oconee County. And the other one is the case of where they found the body in the freezer in Norway, South Carolina. I still don't have anything to update you with. And I feel like in these cases, no news is not good news. I didn't want to just leave you hanging in case you were wondering about either of those cases, but I just wanted to say I haven't found, I can't find anything, um, anything new. But the other thing, and this is so exciting to me, okay, y'all, um, the other thing is, is right before I started recording, UPS pulled up with a package and it contained a spirit box. And I can't, I can't wait to go do some investigating and, and share my adventures with y'all. Um, now, before anyone messaged me saying that I shouldn't go into ghost hunting all willy-nilly, I just want to tell you this isn't my first rodeo. I've been involved with paranormal for many years, but I want to thank you for your concern if that had crossed your mind. Well, that's it for this week's Midweek Mini. I hope you've enjoyed the light that I shed on the TikTok videos. Tune in this weekend for an all-new Weekend Weird Files. And if you haven't, check out episode 13 that just came out on Monday. Have a great, great week. Gosh, y'all, I can't talk. It's a good thing this episode's about over, huh? Have a great week, and don't forget to keep it weird, y'all.